Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. This is JT O'Sullivan. Today, we're looking at Nathan Peterman and why he should be a starter in the NFL. No doubt about it. Had some rough outings. We're going to look at an all-timer right here. But he does all sorts of things that's really reinventing the position. And I'm excited to dive into the details, talk about the nuance right here, two-minute drill, timing, rip a little bang eight glance, get some momentum going. They're in the two-minute. This is an opportunity where quarterbacks thrive. So he comes out, gets a big completion down the field. He's able to see the defense, really work quickly, he gets the ball out of his hands. He's not taking a whole lot of sacks here. You get a great opportunity right here to see another throw on timing, a little look off, come back, and then he just sky mails it a little. But other than that, it was perfect. You can see the reaction on the sideline. Some of his teammates a little disappointed, but the timing of it is right there. So I'm excited to dive into the details, see exactly what he's doing that's separating himself from the rest of the league and be able to learn from it and see exactly what we can do as a community to learn how to this quarterback play, make it a little bit better, elevate all of our games. So let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. All right, here's the first one. Early in the game, first or second series, a little motion. They're going to come out running naked to the right. Nice, easy starter. Come back here. When you throw to the fullback, you really want to throw it as hard as you can. You don't really want to put any sort of touch on it. You want to just let this thing rip because normally they'll tell you, fullbacks especially, that they have some of the best hands on the team. So you come out, a little edge pressure, put it right on his face as hard as you can. He unfortunately sets it up like a volleyball player. But other than that, it was right there. He did a great job getting around. Nice little play fake. We'll see it from the tight. You know, you can't catch it for him, as Jeff Blake used to tell me all the time. All you can do, especially to fullbacks, is just throw it as hard as you can right at their face. And usually it'll bounce off their helmet and they'll either catch it or something bad will happen. But you just want to come out here and just rip it right on him. Unfortunately, it didn't work out right there. And then try to, you know, fake an attempt at a tackle, but don't try too hard. You know, that's just one play. He comes out, he shows he's got a really strong arm. He's going to come out there, rip a little underneath flat to a fullback. Just didn't work out right there. And then right here, what you really want to do, especially when you're playing a defense with good edge rushers, is not step up. You want to, what you, what Nathan Peterman's thinking here is he just wants to take a big drop and then hang back at like 10 yards and become a little target for some of the best ends in the league. And then when you, maybe they might hit you, they might not, because you definitely don't want to step up because if you stepped up, You'd be able to come up, take a couple more hitches, and rip something down the field probably. But what he does here is he just takes a big drop, hangs back there, don't step up, and then when you get engaged, they grab you, just throw it up. It's like a mini punt. You're changing field position is what he's thinking right here. This is just nuanced stuff that you're not going to find anywhere else, this level of analysis. And I'm I'm excited to see it from the tight because you definitely don't wouldn't want to step up in this type of situation and let guys fly by you like two trains in the night. What you want to do is stand back there and let both ends hit you, especially when they have nobody in a three-point stance and are probably aren't going to get much of a push. What you want to do is just take your drop nice and calm and then hang back there. Because if you were to step up right here, there would be absolutely no one, and you could run yourself right there through that hole. But what you want to do is just take a big step, and then when you get engaged, you can tell what you're going to get hit here. Just throw it up. Let it rip. Get a hand to your face. All sorts of good things happen. Just didn't happen right here. This is just a tough first half. But there are plays to be made, and he's out there seeing them, and he's getting a chance to make the plays, and then he's working on his tackling. One of the better quarterback tacklers in the league. And so I'm excited. We'll see one more here. This is all the first half here. This is the fun stuff. Come up here, again, got press coverage all across the board. Easy to see, easy to diagnose. And then this play actually reminds me of Unnecessary Roughness, the movie. He probably, Nathan Peterman in the huddle, probably told the right guard and right tackle, just don't even block Joey. Don't even block Bosa. I'll come back and just rip it right in his face and hit him in the face mask and it'll stick in there. It's a great movie clip. Unfortunately, when he was dropping, the lineman remembered what he said, but he didn't remember what he said. So he just decided, you know what, I'm going to go back there, throw it again, again, punt, you know, didn't work out. They have that guy in the middle of the field. I forget what he's called. He just stands there waiting for balls to be punted to him. So we'll see from the tight, but again, it helps playing quarterback, maybe not for Nathan Peterman, but for everybody else, if the right guard and right tackle block one of the best ends in the league, but it doesn't always happen. And so if you feel like you're going to get hit or be in the grasp, you just want to let this thing rip. Don't think twice about it. Look off, come back, nice eyes. And then that that type of hit, Nathan Peterman, it doesn't phase him. He's not thinking repercussions, what it's going to feel like tomorrow. He's just telling that right guard, right tackle, hey, right tackle, take your time getting off the ball. Don't worry about 
sliding out and getting an edge on him. Just slow out there. Let him think it's screen. He might have thought it was screen. Come back the other way. You know, it just didn't happen. And again, Peterman, get a chance to make a tackle. You can tell these guys are swarming. There's a lot of future punt stars out there. This is one of my favorite ones. I love when poor scheme meets poor execution. And right here, this is one of my favorite things. No DB has ever seen a quick out from a bad split like this. And especially tether that and try to fool them with motion to hide a tight split. NFL corners will fall for this every day, twice on Sunday. And it's poor execution on both sides of the ball because normally this should be a walk-in pick six. But their DB can't stay on his feet. Nathan Peterman likes to throw these balls behind him, thinking that it might the guy might run by him, kind of like Top Gun. It'll fly right by us. But right here, again, I love poor scheme, poor execution, and then this just type of quick outs. I don't even get me started with quick outs. But the idea that this DB right here, he's thinking, oh, look at this split. He's not going to run a quick out from there. But if he goes in motion, and now this DB has to come in he does it's not he's not fast enough or smart enough to think oh that's a tight split now he probably wants to run a quick out they'll never th see that before so you come in here and you'll probably get a wide open quick out and if he notices it you can throw it like this and then throw the ball behind him right there and you got a chance for a touchdown so all sorts of good things didn't happen right here unfortunately but Peterman was right there. He saw it. The DB, you know, very rare that they would recognize that type of tight split as a quick out opportunity, not take even any sort of backpedal at all, just kind of stand there. You know, it's. It, I'm sure they had no idea that this was coming. And then you just want to maybe throw it out in front of him a little bit. I could see what he saw. There's an opportunity for a big play down the field. And then, you know, he knew he wasn't going to run and score a pick six. He's just going to catch it and fall. And then again, Bosa, not a factor here. Probably don't want a short set inside. Make sure Shady has to come up and blunt him right in front of the quarterback's lap. That's always fun. So, again, you know, he's right there. He's showing a strong arm. He's making good decisions. And then this is the one we showed earlier. Timing-wise, beautiful. You know, you just got to come up and, and maybe think about throwing it to the receiver and not five yards over his head. But to think that all this happened in one half and this guy's not playing every Sunday, every snap on Sundays, it's pretty phenomenal that there are other guys who are – who might be qualified to have jobs in the NFL, but you can come out and have a performance like this and then keep playing in the league. Just let it go. It's a good learning opportunity. He's got good eyes here. Nice read going into rotation, timing of it. And then, you know, you just sometimes, you probably got a wet thumb, slipped on him a little bit, sky mail that thing out, but you let it, you see he's got some timing. I'll, I'll give him that. He understands when to get the ball out of his hands. Right there, he's going to throw. That thing's coming out of his hands. You can see where the wide receiver is. He's right here. Now, if he were to run up here, that ball hits him in the face. Unfortunately, he tight turns it, and it ends up hitting the DB in the face. But besides for that, timing, he's got it. He's got the ability to make tackles. He's got the ability to give your team a chance in that opening series. So all good things. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video. I think the sky's the limit for Peterman here. He's going to be able to really kind of set this position on a new trajectory. No stepping up, just throwing balls up for grabs, punting, new uh, new ideas coming from the quarterback position. I'm really excited to see how it evolves, see where this career goes. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please give the channel a subscription. Get over to the Patreon community for the really, really, really in-depth stuff that we'll talk about Nathan Peterman about four more times. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.